Let's look at a nice algebra problem involving a system of equations where we have two equations where the first one is x squared minus y squared is equal to 32 and the second one is x plus y to the power of 4 plus x minus y to the power of 4 is equal to 4352 and then we are asked to find the value of x squared plus y squared. So in general when we have these kinds of equations we have to first kind of play around with it and see what do we get from manipulating these two equations and in the following solution that I'm going to present, we'll use the binomial expansion of a plus b to the power 4, which is equal to a to the power 4 plus 4 times by a cubed b plus 6 times by a squared b squared and 4a b cubed plus b to the power 4. So looking at the equation over here, let us just expand out the second equation. So using the binomial expansion for the a plus b to the power 4, you get that the whole equation becomes x to the power 4 plus 4x cubed y plus 6x squared y squared plus 4xy cubed plus y to the power 4. And then for the second one, is the same, just that we change the sign for x cubed y and xy cubed because we have a negative sign for the variable y. And so the whole thing here is equal to 4, 3, 5, 2. And now we can see that these two cancel off and these two also cancel off. So we will have, this is 2 times by x to the power 4 plus 12 times by x squared y squared plus 2 times by y to the power 4 is equal to 4, 3, 5, 2. So now, can we combine this equation with the first equation that we have. Well, from the first equation, if we compare it to this equation, it seems very similar to the square of x squared minus y squared, which is equal to x to the power 4 minus 2 times by x squared y squared plus y to the power 4. And then if we multiply 2 by the whole thing, we get this is 2x to the power 4 and let's change this to 4 and we have 2y to the power 4. So we can see that these two and these two are the same. It's just that the coefficient for the x squared y squared term is different. But then it is okay. We can rewrite the equation over here by using 2 times by x squared minus y squared the whole thing squared. So this means that we have 2x squared minus y squared the whole thing squared and we'll add it with 16x squared y squared and this whole thing is equal to 4, 3, 5, 2 and so now from here since we are given at the first equation that this is equal to 32 we can actually solve for x squared y squared and moreover we can notice that well let me put a note here x squared plus y squared the whole thing squared is equal to x squared minus y squared, the whole thing squared plus 4x squared y squared. And so if we can solve for x squared y squared, then we can essentially solve for the x squared plus y squared, the whole thing squared, and so we'll get x squared plus y squared. So let's do it. So from here, we can note that 16x squared y squared is equal to 4352 minus 2 times by 32 squared. And since we want to find 4 times by x squared y squared, we can divide out the 4. So this is 4 x squared y squared, this whole thing divided by 4. And then if you go through the calculations, this is equal to 5, 7, 6. And so replacing this to here, you get this is equal to 32 squared plus 5, 7, 6. And then altogether this is 1, 6, 0, 0. And this means that x squared plus y squared is equal to the square root of 1, 6, 0, 0. And because x and y are both real numbers, we'll take the positive value, which is just 40. And so we are done for this problem.